finishing up some testing and um, before we install these and um, this is uh, these two distributors the open and closed style is used on the early slot grill MB GPW IGC is the early one and the IAD is the late one the early one from 1941 through October 44 the late style October 44 through uh, 1971 can be put in an F head motor even these will work 6 or 12 volts um, these are beautiful distributors and they'll make your Jeep run so much better follow me for uh, further instructions Yeah. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's You can. We're we're fine. Okay. Ready? Go for it. Okay, so let me. So you know that's pretty close. Oh, I know. You know that's close. You can pull a manual yeah. picture up probably to reference that. Dude. When the motor is at top dead center, TDC, the distributor rotor should be at the five o'clock position or the rotor should point at the number one ignition wire when the oil pump is installed correctly. The distributor shaft has an offset keyway that mates into the oil pump the oil pump is driven off of the camshaft. On the end of the distributor, you see the black spring. We find that when using a milling oil pump, it is easier to do setup with the spring removed. It's a very simple process to pull that off and put it on. And then final assembly, put the spring on and install it and you're good to go. So this is with a spring clip on, by the way, which I don't know if it'll actually... Bolt removed so you can see it. Okay. It's, it's tight in there. Yeah. They, I mean. And just that right there is very helpful to some folks. So now what we can do is screw around with how the points are going to be. I can even like Good. Hi, see the points opening.
Do we want to start it? See how it goes? Yeah, let's see. Oh, you know what? Let me uh, explain. Well, I don't know if you want to explain when those points are opening and closing. By turning it to the left, we're retarding it. So do it that because once I put the cap on, people are going to be like, well, we just set the points. Because as you see, I stopped right before they opened. Yep. And we're going to hear the starter if it's kind of lagging. Whoa. Whoa. So make sure you have a good charge. got the number one spark plug wire here and on this timing light it's directional plug spark plug that way the flow there you go So, no, no it, it's, 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 the one that's the timing mark has the little orange tab at the end, yeah. and I always mark it longer than the other. Military flywheels have four timing marks. I.O. for intake open, ignition, or five degrees before top dead center, T.C. or T.D.C. for top dead center, and E.C. for exhaust closed. Civilian flywheels have two timing marks, five degrees before top dead center or TC. you'll explain this is the test down and things are temporary hooked up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Every engine that leaves here gets test and run. Should introduce Jim. Yeah. How long are you running, Jimmy? He's doing like two days. Five gallons of gas. Well, you run them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He readjusts the valves. Start the you run them. Well, we decided to break them in for people so they can't do it wrong. And then you take the oil out? If we ship them. You some ship people... Them. Yeah. Like if this guy, you let him put a few hundred miles on there and then do it. Then do it. I mean, you got to think. I mean, when you run it for eight hours, 